Build robots to build better kids. One click away. We live in a world where the answer to any difficult question is just a click away. Students can access the entire world just through a simple click. There's no point in dumping information in a student's mind when it can be looked up online. Instead, students' minds should be challenged to solve problems which have more than one correct answer. It reduces their fear of failure. It is best to do this through a brand that every kid in the world already loves, Lego. Playing with building blocks, it develops the students' problem-solving skills and mathematical thinking. Assembling the blocks develops children's focus and attention to detail. Ideas of symmetry, balance, shapes and sizes are explored through play. Just two six stud blocks can be put together in 24 different ways. You make it three, they can be put together in thousand ways. This is what breeds innovators. Innovators are the need of the hour today. There are hundreds of different kinds of blocks, wheels, axles, gears that kids can assemble into cars, helicopters, rockets, dancing ballerinas, what not. Their imagination can run wild. But now imagine some of your blocks are motors. A simple intelligent brick can be programmed to drive the motors. Suddenly your creation can move. Yes, the wheels can turn, the arm can lift, you can build a simple robot. And further, imagine you can add sensors to your robot that can measure distance and direction and light. You know what? Now your robot can follow lines, avoid obstacles and know when it has reached its destination. That is just amazing. Robotics, it combines the tangible activity of building with the abstract process of programming. Robotics brings the blocks to life. It creates a sense of wonder. It raises goosebumps. Kids get in this zone where creativity has no limits. You should watch a first grader coding the robot. That spark, the thrill and the pride of ownership and excitement. I see it in their eyes once their first robot moves. This is the job and reward of every robotics instructor. I am a passionate robotics instructor lovingly called Coach K by my students. Let's rewind to the past. 10 years ago, my two daughters were still in elementary school. I kept them active, engaged and entertained. When they showed interest in dancing, I became their choreographer and danced along with them. When they showed interest in gymnastics, I did workouts with them. I loved going shopping with them. I would walk down the aisle disappointed to see the only toys designed for girls were dolls. I wanted so much more for them, not just dolls, but engaging tools for their mind. One fine momentous day when we got to know there is a robotics program for children, my daughters showed interest and I enrolled them for the program right away. I got all geared up to volunteer as well. I would help the team with sorting their robotics kit, organizing snack schedules and sending emails. On top of it, my strong coding and computer science background helped the team to breeze through the season. I recognized early on the power of robotics to transform a kid. I saw it in my daughters. The skills that they developed were not just from reading, watching, but from doing, from building and failing. 
and fixing and learning. Since they learned so much and had so much fun, very soon I shifted gears and became a robotics coach. I was one of the very few lead female coaches in town back then, 10 years ago. I faced a lot of challenges along the way. I have faced unnecessary insults just because of my gender. I was devastated. I have had people look at me, I was out of place. Out of evil, that can come good. With tremendous support from my friends and family, during that same summer break, I gathered few kids and taught robotics right from my living room. All that we had was one robotics kit, five enthusiastic students gleaming with excitement and 10 super supportive parents. These five keen minds working right from my living room, they became a team, winning a bid to state championship and putting Jacksonville on the map. And let me brag for just a moment, I won the best coach award for the entire state of Florida. It turned my self-doubts into confidence. I did not want to limit myself to the living room. Robotics has the power to transform one's life 180 degrees for good for coaches as well as kids. When I met Andrew Richardson, he was 16 years old and repeating his school grade. He was a young man with issues. The decision was made for him to get therapy. One of the staff members at Behavioral Therapy Center, who has seen the powerful impact of robotics on her own grandson's life, she recommended Andrew to Shiva Robotics Program. They were willing to offer one month sponsorship to Andrew to see if he liked it. During that month, I saw the potential in him and his natural ability in engineering. I decided to give him a chance and something that he didn't know he wanted, a part-time job and the responsibilities that comes with it. Thanks to the sense of purpose that robotics instilled in him, he was able to leave therapy almost a complete 180 from when he first started. That year, I nudged Andrew to join First Tech Challenge team where high school kids, they build metal robots. Coaches and parents, we took turns in arranging his rides. It was his first year. There was a lot to learn. Andrew made it through the year. You know what? He accomplished the most hardest mission of the season. The robot latching itself on a hook and lifting itself up. And the team won judges award. Extrapolating the success that we saw with robotics teams and kids like Andrew, we want robotics to reach not just to more students, but all students. Students from underprivileged communities, they need to know that there are opportunities for them. Girls need to know that they can participate in these opportunities. Robotics is gender neutral. Through the first robot competitions, there are $80 million in college scholarships available for students who take part in robotics competition. Thus, robotics is a rope to pull a generation up and out of poverty. We conduct week-long robotics camps. These camps are to expose students to hands-on STEM education by combining block-based coding, engaging standards-based projects with a discovery-based approach. The best part of the campus, it is facilitated by our returning students, including Andrew, who want to share their joy of robot education with all other students. Andrew applied to and he got accepted as an AmeriCorps member. 
Today, he engages students not much younger than he is in metal robot building activities. So, the coaches are the students themselves. They are the STEAM role models. All that it needs is one caring and responsible adult with perseverance to change a child's life. With technology becoming the inevitable need of the hour today, adults taking the role as robotics coach can put a child's path to success on a fast track. In this modern world where machines are getting super smart and are capable of performing more and more and more tasks, what are human even for? Human are for being more human than we have ever been. More human in what we learn, more human in how we work, and more human in how we share our knowledge with each other. To quote Dean Kamen, the founder of FIRST Robotics, we are not using kids to build robots, but we are using robots to build kids. When you believe in a child and keep encouraging them, they can change the world. Robot building teaches perseverance, teamwork, problem solving, creative thinking, communication and collaboration. It is just not about building robots. It's about building people who will change the world. I invite you all to be the driving force behind this movement of building an army of robot builders in your community and in all communities around the world. Thank you.